Hey guys, Zenzer 5031 and um I just thought um today I'd show you my um for New Year's um I I thought I'd show you my um Lego Mindstorms NXT 2.0 soda machine. I used no pieces from other sets. This is just pieces I um that come with the set. Yeah, there's the computer the programs. Um First, I'll start off by demonstrating the the um, sewing machine's program. Okay. Take this key. And the soda pops out. Um. Anyways, so yeah, and then soda to drink. Anyways, and then I got some other pieces lying around. Yeah. So then, yeah. So um, the program's just called Soda Machine. It requires a key. The only a uh, Mindstorms parts it requires. The rest you. Um, it just is Technic, or the NXT brick, of course, um, a touch sensor, and one servo motor. So, um, I hate to brag, but it's a really genius design, if you ask me. I mean, sure, you have to slide the soda in manually and reload manually, and thus it has no practical use, but you know, still. Anyways, and that's pretty much it for the machine. I'll do it again one more time. Yeah. Anyways, and I'll do, um, and here is the programming tutorial for it. Or not a tutorial, but uh, kind of what you're supposed to do. So, um, start off by, um, using a sound block and making it say hello. Next, go use a weight block. And then, um, choose touch sensor as your option. And from there, um, go to another sound block and make it say thank you so it'll say thank you when you put in the key from there it'll wait make it wait half a second control time there's sensor and time choose time for half a second and then, um Oh yeah, make sure the touch sensors in port, any port works. I made mine port 2, I don't know why. Yeah, and so, and um, have the motor be in port A, make it rotate here, um, up, the up direction, so it'll rotate, um, I don't know which way that is. And, um, one rotation. And, um, the, um, and then, um, place another, um, time block for one second. Make it say, make a sound block. Say cool. And, um, then put another weight block for a second. Um, and make the control time. Then another sound block. I can say goodbye. And that's it. So, um, it's a really simple program. 
And um, for those of you um, who don't know, um, Mindstorm simply uses a, as you can tell, it just uses a really nice drag and drop programming system, which I love. Um, you can still get this set. I got mine for Christmas in 2009. That's for ages 10 plus. I was 9 at the time. Mm -mm. Yeah, this set retails for $280. But, um, like I said, I got mine for Christmas. And, yeah. And the possibilities with this thing are endless. You can... I, I once built a cash register... That was fun. Uh, anyways, um, so I'll give you one more overview. I, I, I kind of want to just make it so that um, you guys who have Mindstorms NXT 2.0 can just do this right now. Or you you just need an NXT 1.0, really. Because the main difference between 2.0 and um, 1.0 is... 2.0 has the color sensor and two touch sensors. Nice. Um. So here's another um, overview. And um, you can kind of see there's like a beam right here supporting this. This just lifts up on its own. And, um, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Um, and then you, you will have to supply your own soda, obviously. Sorry, I can't do this with one hand. So, it just drops the soda. Um, you could probably build like a box around it, like cardboard box around it to hide this, or use bricks, because I know a lot of you have at least 600 um, 2 by um, 4 bricks. You can just build those around this, and it'll, it'll look really nice. And then, um, again, the key is just this. Um, it's pretty standard design, pretty self-explanatory. And anyways, that's pretty much it. Um, see you guys next time. Happy New Year.